bright duty every student matters hi dear students in the previous two chapters that is chapter number 8 and chapter number 9 motion and force and laws of motion you must have studied about motion the various types of motion force the laws of motion governing the force acting on a particular object how force impacts the direction the velocity of an object right now there are certain day to day phenomena that we observe that is ki if we throw a ball right if we throw a ball whatever initial velocity we are throwing it with whatever power we are exerting whatever force we are applying but that particular ball reaches a particular height and after that it always falls back we have been told that the moon it orbits round the earth the earth and the other planets they revolve round the sun how is that particular motion possible that is what we are going to study about in this chapter that is our gravitation right isaac newton we already we are familiar with newton's name isaac newton he gave this fundamental concept of this force which pulls everything towards it that force he called as the force of gravitation this is the force of gravitation because of which everything falls on the ground it is attracted towards the force of gravity of the earth similarly it is the force of gravity of earth which makes the moon to revolve around it it is the force of gravity of the sun because of which the various planets revolve around it right now there is a story we all we all must have heard about it that it was newton who saw an apple falling from a tree this apple falling to the ground gave him an idea and it clicked to him as to why everything falls on the ground right so there was a concept he gave that the earth's gravity the earth is attracting the apple towards it whenever we throw anything in the air the earth attracts toward attracts all the things towards it now importantly we know that according to newton's third law of motion it states that action and reaction are equal and opposite so he just pondered as to whether that apple or the ball also attracted the earth towards it what about the moon is it the same force that is making the moon to revolve around it right he gave a concept that the moon is actually moving in a linear straight line but it is because of the earth's gravitational pull that it is forced to revolve in a circular orbit right now whenever moon is revolving in a circular orbit then in that case and if it is attracted towards the earth why doesn't it fall towards the earth so this is the thing that we can relate by taking an activity that we have already studied while we have done circular motion in the chapter motion the end of it once again we will perform the same activity how we will just take a thread and we will tie a stone to one of its end fine now when we just make this particular stone go in the circular motion right and if i leave the thread at any particular point in time i will find that the stone is going to go in this direction right the second time if i'll just leave the thread it may go in this direction or in this direction or this direction or this direction now what does this activity conclude this activity concludes that actually the stone is moving in a particular straight linear motion at any point in time but there is some force which is exerted from the center right which makes the stone 
टू मूव इन दिस सर्कुलर पाथ नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर फोर्स विच इज एक्सर्टेड फ्रॉम द सेंटर इज नोन एज सेंट्री पेटल फोर्स सेंट्री पेटल मीन्स सेंटर सीकिंग फोर्स राइट हैड दिस फोर्स नॉट बीन देयर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोन वुड हैव गॉन स्ट्रेट बिकॉज एक्चुअली ड्यू टू दिस फोर्स दिस स्टोन इज चेंजिंग इट्स वेलॉसिटी इट्स चेंजिंग इन इट्स डायरेक्शन एट एवरी पॉइंट वाइल इट इज मूविंग इन दिस सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट एंड वेन एवर दिस सेंट्री पिटल फोर्स इज नॉट एक्सर्टेड देन इट विल मूव इन अ लीनियर स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड दैट लीनियर स्ट्रेट लाइन विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ टेंजेंट टू अ सर्कल स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट टेंजेंट्स वॉट आर टेंजेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एनी सर्कल सो अ लाइन पासिंग through this particular circle touching this circle at one and only one point that is known as a tangent for example this is a line let us say this is a line a b c this is touching this circle at one particular point that is b so i'll say that this is a tangent to this circle similarly i can take another line this is d e f this is also a tangent because this is just touching this circle at one point that is e so the object whichever object is moving in a circular motion it is moving because of the centripetal force which is acted from the center which makes this body to move in a circular path and while it is moving in a circular path it will change its direction had it not been there it was moving with a linear straight motion but because of this force it is changing its direction at every turn and that is why the circular motion appears or seems to us so to conclude we'll say that if the moon is also revolving around the earth it is because of the centripetal force and from where does that centripetal force come that is the force of gravity of the earth clear so this is the force of gravity of the earth because of which this particular object or the moon or rather the planets they move around any heavenly body like planets moving around the sun the moon moving around the earth right and the ball moving in this circular motion tied with a thread all right now coming back to newton's thoughts now newton has thought about the fact that what exactly is the force with which these objects are actually attracting each other now according to newton's third law i have already said that action and reaction are equal and opposite right based on that concept if a ball is thrown then if the earth is attracting that ball or exerting some force on the ball then the ball must also be attracting the earth but why does that earth that movement not visible to us now the possible reason is because of newton's second law of motion now what do newton's second law of motion state newton's second law of motion as we have studied that f is equal to m into a this was the newton's second law right this stated that the force exerted is related to the mass of the object and if we compare the mass of a ball as to the huge mass of the earth we find that the mass of the ball is almost negligible correct it is almost negligible as compared to the mass of the earth that is why the force which is exerted by that ball because of its very 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 less mass it's so negligible that we do not see earth moving towards it got it 